Okay, the big goal here is to create an A port and publish the About Me page, probably useful to some other uh, A port tasks. So first is the idea of a portfolio, which is just a collection of some of your best work. An artist might keep that, a photographer might keep that, a writer might have that. You may be used to, or I used to have three ring binders with uh, my work in it. Um, those are known as ePorts, ePortfolios now because they're electronic. So ePort is what most people call them. At App, they uh, kind of a branding Appalachian. So they're ePorts instead of ePorts at App. And the company that uh, does this, uh, that provides the software for us is called Digication. Appalachian State A Portfolio. That should take me to the login page. Um, and so here I am logging in. And then right here is create a new A port. And I'm gonna go with a totally blank template. And I'm gonna call that, you're gonna go uh, your last name, first name, Torg, and then whatever the semester is right now, it's summer uh 2022 so whatever that is for you i'm going to come down here to create and it's giving me all these pages to start with it's, and so i'm going to slide my uh first thing i want to do is change the settings so i could do this at any time but i'm going to go to the settings and i want to change this from being private to private at app stage i don't want to require a password for access. I do want it to show in the directory. So now I have a public a portfolio. And then when I'm all done, I need to make sure that I publish pages, which we haven't got to yet. So now let's kind of look at this menu up here. This actually comes with an About Me, the one that we made. If I hit this Unlock button, and then I come in here and I do this on the Edit, um, now, um, so it says about me, let's say I was going to do reflective letter and I was going to do discourse report. And let's say that I wanted my reflective letter to be first. I can move my pages like this, um, the discourse report second. So I can move these things around. I can rename them. I'm going to trash um, these. I'm going to hit save. It's going to make me hit type delete so that I don't delete anything by accident. Okay, so now I get to this About Me page, and there's a lot um, of ways to set up a page. I'm gonna add content, um, I'm gonna do rich text, and I'm just gonna say uh, Torg About Me, and I'm gonna make this a lot bigger if I can, okay, so I go to this palette, and this is where I can change the size of the palette, and I'm going to crank this number up here until it's... So I'm going 30, we'll see how that looks. Um, and then if I wanted to say center that, um, this palette is where I can do a lot of those things here. There's a lot of different options. Okay, now, so that's good, and I want to add more content. Down here in the right, um, if I move this a little, so to get out of my picture, this is where adding more content. So let's say that I want to add an image under my name um, and not just have all my text and then the images at the bottom. So I'm going to check it out. Um, and so I've got some files ready on my page. Um, desktop, my wife is a big selfie. Um, she takes a lot of family self selfies. So I, I selected that file, I'm hitting upload, and here we are, and I can resize that. So I could, um, now watch, these things can be moved. So like this can move around. Um, so one thing I could do is like put text boxes on the left, remember that's a text box, and then I could put images on the right. I sort of like text, image, and now I want another text box. Um, so I'm coming back over um, to this add button in the lower right hand corner and I'm going to go rich text and then here is we'll just say a bunch of writing about me. So I'm done with that and so this is you know four paragraphs maybe about me and then I want to put another picture um, 
And so I'm going to come back over to this blue button in the right hand corner. I'm going to go back to file. Up here, look at that. I can click image up here too. So there's two ways to do that there or down here on upload file. So I'm going image. I'm going upload file. Um, I'm going to go back to my desktop. Uh, I do a lot of basketball in my free time. Both my girls uh, will be playing basketball for Otago High School here in Boone. I'm blocking that upload again, uh, which is right here. And I also coach one of my daughter's travel basketball team. They both play for the same group. And so here we are there. And then I might finish coming back over one more time um, to this plus. And now I got rich text. And here is the rest of my about me text. And so I'm maybe writing in a Google Doc and copy and pasting. See how I had to break this up into like, where do I want to cut off my text in the first spot? and add it so that I can put an image in here and then finish with my text. So you have to think that through a little bit. Um, you can resize and move things around. Last thing is we have to publish changes. So I could hit that. What I like to do to be safe and make sure is that I come up here into the upper right. I go to publish pages, not this page, but all pages. So I publish pages. It's saying I'm going to publish all of those things are unpublished. And so I'm going to hit publish in the lower right hand corner. Um, I'm going to save these settings. And now uh, last thing to turn it in, I'm going to go to uh, this is published view. This is edit view. This is published view. So I'm coming to the top and I'm copying and pasting this link and I'm turning that in on as you learn in the form in this case on this assignment uh, where I need to create a new page and publish the about me. Let's go back and make sure that I covered everything. Um, we created a new A port. We changed the settings to private within app state. We added pages. We renamed pages. We moved pages. We added text. We added images. We published the pages. Turn the link in. All right. So I hope you find that helpful. Get in touch uh, if you have any questions.